He's one of Superman's greatest villains, but when did he first appear on a cover? Hi guys, welcome back to The Sanctuary. We live in a time in the comic book hobby where keys are more important and more valuable than they've ever been before. Anytime a new movie announcement happens or a TV show or anything, uh, everyone scrambles. Gotta get that first appearance, gotta get that first cover appearance. Um, any hint of the origins of that character is instantly collectible uh, when that announcement is made. So. Let's look at General Zod. He is an outlier in this department. When Man of Steel was announced in 2013, or when General Zod was announced as the main villain, everyone scurried to get Adventure 283, his first appearance in the comics, which is almost 60 years old. It escalated in value quickly to well over $1,000 for even a VF 8.0 copy. But what's his first cover appearance? I can't think of another villain or hero where we don't know the cover, the first cover appearance of that character. Now it's common for the first cover appearance coming later than the first appearance. We see that with Wonder Woman. She, she did not appear on the cover of All Star number eight. The Joker does not appear on the cover of Batman number one. Selena Kyle also not, does not appear on the cover of Batman number one. So it's very common. Aquaman doesn't appear in the entire Golden Age. <laughs> he doesn't get a cover until Brave and the Bold 28, the first appearance of the Justice League. But General Zod, what's his first cover appearance? It's not in the Overstreet Guide. It's not noted by CGC on any book's label. It's as if no one thought about it. So I set out on a quest to find that very first General Zod cover. I looked at every issue of Action. I looked at every issue of Adventure Comics. I looked at every issue of Superboy in that range of the 1960s after he first appeared in Adventure 283. He doesn't appear. There are Kryptonians escaping the Phantom Zone. Jaxer is one of them. There's a few others, but not General Zod, at least not on a cover, not on a cover. He appears in numerous stories in those three titles that I mentioned, but not on the cover. So I had to dig a little deeper. I had to get out of the 60s and go into the early 70s. And that's when I found Super DC Giant number 24. Super DC Giant number 24 reprints a comic, or I'm sorry, a story from Adventure 293. And that is about the Phantom Zone criminals or villains escaping. It's a Supergirl story. This, I believe, is the first cover appearance of General Zod. So let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so here's the book and General Zod is in the blue uniform with the hat right there escaping the Phantom Zone. A couple of other Kryptonians next to him there also escaping. Again, this is Super DC Giant number 24 from May, June 1971, covered by Kurt Swan, inked by Murphy Anderson. Typical cover for the era. The uh, the image here is very reminiscent of a panel straight from the story. Now this book, again, like I said, it's not noted anywhere that this is the first appearance, not in Overstreet, not by CGC. So for example, this 9.4, I've owned this for, well, a number of years now, actually. Um, but this a 9.4 copy of this sold in December just last month for $71. So I'm thinking if you're one of those collectors always looking for the next big thing, not that this would be a big thing, but it's notable. This might be a good book to pick up and have in your collection 
first cover appearance of a major villain, you have to remember, General Zod has appeared in not one, but two major Superman films. Superman II from 1980 and Man of Steel from 2013. Both, like, those are my two favorite Superman movies right there. It's a pretty cool book to have. And it's really surprising to me that it's gone unnoticed for as long as it has. So do me a favor. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If there is an earlier cover appearance by General Zod, I'd really like to hear about it. I'd love to know. Um, I am going to contact Bob Overstreet and see if maybe we can get this noted in the Overstreet Guide. If that happens, then I believe CGC will also note it on their label uh, when they certify this book in the future. So potential key issue, selling it at a very, very affordable price, you might wanna grab one. If you like this content, let me know. I do mostly statue videos. Those tend to do quite well as far as views. Um, I've done comic book videos in the past that haven't done all that great. So I've tended to stick with the statue stuff. But if you enjoy the comic book content, I'd be happy to do more videos. So let me know if you like that. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't subscribed to the Facebook group, Secret Sanctuary Facebook group, please join. We're getting more people every day. It's really fun. Uh, and there is a link for that in the description of this video. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.